this is the wooden crane. Um, I made a lot of sketchy things in the shop, but honestly, this might be one of the sketchiest things that I made in here yet. Um, I made this so it can hold up a shelf over top of the counter. Um, so I'm gonna show you around this right now. So basically, it's built on this uh, Rockwell jaw stand XP, which this is a uh, stand that can get about, uh, I wanna say three feet high, and then you get um, some height adjustment here so you can crank that up or down for another six inches so you can like fine tune your height. Um, so this can hold 200 pounds or 220, I think. And then I put a two by four with some, uh, some screws there. Um, you can see his paracord runs up these arms and it holds the, uh, the actual, um, what do you call it, arm part of this up. And I've put 30 pounds on the very end of this and it held just fine. And to, uh, you might have to mess with the tension depending on how heavy it is. So you can just strap these around and then you have another one. If you really have something heavy, you just strap it around there. So you can see that'll, you know, loosen or lower it as you go. And then you saw me in the video, um, fold this up. So it's, it's really easy to fold down. So we take this off and then this will slide down. And then you move the, the arms down like that and move that down and then i just made this little little latch here to uh swing over just uh, so when you move it doesn't shake around all that much uh that's really about it so and on the, the top uh this is like this is secured on my uh my housing here so it takes the weight here and also here so it's really secure this is a three quarter inch threaded rod um, it's pretty easy to take apart. It's uh, held in with uh, just nuts there. And then you can see also down in there, you can adjust how tight you, ever, you want everything. Um, but again, if you want to take this apart, it's super easy to do and just take all the pieces out. This part here can hold up a lot of weight. I've put a hundred pound mantle on this when it's been uh, actually about the same height as it is now and it held it just fine. Um, so this makes it really easy if you want to uh, hold something heavy but you only have one set of hands um, so if you need to put a mantle on there you can mark everything um, down here you do get a little uh, angle adjustment so if you adjust this you can see you can uh, set it to the angle you need so you can really make some fine-tune adjustments with the stand alone um, and then with the, obviously with the added flexibility of setting this up and putting a shelf on so I'm gonna go ahead and set this back up so now you kind of know what the story is now with this. And I'm gonna put a, uh, a shelf on the end of it. So again, you can just swing these down like this. Swing this up. And pull this out. And then clamp that to the bottom. And you kind of have to play with the, uh, the adjustments to determine uh, you know, how much weight you have on here. But I'm going to grab one of my shelves and I'm going to put it on the top. So this shelf's pretty heavy. It's about 30 pounds. Um, well, it's, uh, I'm going to fold this in if it doesn't take me wood. So put that on there and it holds it just fine. The only part you might have to adjust a little bit, and you might have to put a clamp here to prevent the wood from slipping out. Um, not really a big deal. But again, you can uh, you make this tighter, you can raise the shelf, you know, depending on how much weight you do have on it. But you can get this seven feet in the air. I mean, seven feet over top of a counter, that's really helpful. Um, you can really use this for a lot of projects, but it's easy to fold up easy to put in the back of your truck um, again if it's just you and you know you need to uh, hold something above your head keep it level and mark it you can do something like this to hold it there you get a ladder up next to it and just kind of work with that um, you know obviously I'm still working on this um, but for the most part 
it really is a functioning kind of wood crane, if you want to call it that. Um, and I think there's a lot of value in this thing. I think it can really be used productively if you, if I kind of tinker with it a little bit, make out, um, take out some of the kinks in it because um, I'll take you, I'll show you one thing I have to fix right now. Um, if you zoom in here, you know, this whole thing is dependent on how tight you clamp this. So you can, uh, you know, back that off and then twist it and then uh, clamp it again. But just for safety precautions, you probably would want to uh, have some kind of safety catch right here to prevent, you can see that it slipped a little bit you know, to prevent the two by four from slipping out of this hold very, very much. Um, originally my design was gonna have this be a lot more uh, accessible to take off so you could slip it um, and make some more height adjustments, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Again, this is just kind of uh, the first iteration of this whole thing. And I, what I really wanted is to be able to hold up a hundred or so pound mantle. Um, with this stand and, and that was accomplished. This crane part was more of kind of an afterthought to see if I could do it. Um, and it clearly works. And again, it just is held up by a pretty common piano hinge there. Um, so that might need to be replaced depending on how much weight that can hold. Um, but I haven't seen any issues with it so far. This is obviously just a uh, <laughs> cell bracket with just a piece of wood for the latch, right? But I don't know if it works. So I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, the way I put these catches the weight, so I think that part is fine in terms of, you can see you can actually raise it and lower it. Um, primarily it hits this, so it's really at that point dependent on this, the sheer strength of these screws here, and then these up here because this also takes the weight going forward and this takes it going back. Um, and obviously these arms are leaning against this piece of wood, so this weight here is perfectly fine. Um, can hold as much as this wood will, you know, can bend against. So that's really it. Um, don't really see a lot of other adjustments you can do. Again, you can raise this up to the length of the two by four so it can go about seven feet in the air. Um, right now it's about five feet. So you can raise that an additional two and a half and then raise it with the crank arm on the side. So you can make it really high if you want to. Um, I can show you that if you want, but you can kind of picture, I mean, it's just, it would just be up, up here. So not really much to see here, but again, you can, uh, you can swivel this thing at the base. Um, obviously you need to move the two by four, but if you put it here, um, you can see, you can make that flush with the counter and then you'd have all this space for counters here to then hold something way over top without having to put anything you know, on top of the counter if you don't have that kind of room. Um, so you're just working with the floor and you can see it's pretty, uh, it's pretty level. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's kind of sketchy, but it works, it does the job. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's what I want to show. Uh, just kind of a sketchy little shop project here that's actually pretty productive. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about it, but yeah, anyway, have a good one.